There's some people who would rather that this story wasn't told. There's some people who feel guilty but they weren't to know how the story would unfold. There's only one person to blame and even now I struggle to say his name. Physically he is dead but he's still alive when I try to close my eyes in bed. My body still shudders at the thought of his hand on my skin. It's a constant battle to not let these thoughts win. I tried to get him convicted for his crime but I never got to see him do time. Instead it's me doing the sentence but if I'm the victim how does that make sense? People don't always realise that for so long I was living in a web of lies. This isn't a story that I want to hide, I'm done trying to hold it all inside. On paper I'm a statistic, numbers on a page seem so simplistic. So when I say I was just a kid when he raped me all of a sudden, it's as complicated as it could be. For 13 years he came back for more, creeping through that closed bedroom door. And some would argue that it stopped the day that he committed suicide. So to them I ask, what about the scars I hide on the inside? I struggle with depression and anxiety but I'm done trying to deal with it quietly. I'm not asking for any kind of award, just that telling my story may help another victim come forward.